Hi. Hi. I'm Trevor McDonald. And I'm Todd Fairbanks. And we're from Anderson, Anderson, and, and, Anderson, Anderson and Anderson and Anderson. Anderson. You may recognize us from a television documentary that was shot in our company called If It Floats. Now, unfortunately, we didn't make it past the first episode. We were dropped. Canceled real hard. Critically panned. And uh, we're now making this video as a plea to the other networks to just show them what we got. I mean... So welcome Fox. Welcome NBC. Welcome CBS. ABC. Welcome... The CW Network. Oxygen. Welcome. PAX. Welcome USA. I'd love TBS Superstation. Welcome Nick. Animal Planet. All of these networks would love to have more episodes of If It Floats. And we have compiled some clips that will prove to you exactly why. Starting right here with the prank man. Oh, the prankster. Trev, you and your pranks. I am the greatest prankster on television and I will stand by that. Unfortunately, some of those best pranks never even made it on the air. Let's take a look at some of those. I said we're not using the screen. Dudley! Put it up! I don't want to have to pay for this. Dudley! Just put it... No, up. Dudley! A ABC Family, I just remembered. Oh, perfect. Dudley, have you seen that? Shit, Dudley, look at this! Look! Wanted! Armed criminal! $25 reward! $25? I can get pants. Lots of pants. Hey that, chum! What? What? It's... It's you! Oops. I'm going to get you! You... What's wrong, Dudley? Armed criminal. Where is he? You saw the armed criminal? I saw him. No, where is he? I am. I think he jumped out the window, Dudley! You, you do? Oh my god, yes! Where, where is he? Somewhere out there! It's I'm going to get you! I need pants! Dudley, don't really jump. It's a joke. Look. It's me, Dudley. It's you? No! 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 You no! No! You no! no. 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 <laughs> Let's talk about the greatest dynamic duos of all time. And If It Floats is full of them. We got Trevor and Dudley. Yeah, Trevor and Dudley. Trevor and the boss. <laughs> Trevor and the vice president. Trevor and Matilda. Hey, 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 wait a second. Trevor and... You weren't part of every dynamic duo. In fact, the funniest one by far is Lou and Matilda. Yeah. That's how I stay so limber. Must you do that at all times? Should you not be working? <clears throat> We're paying to stay healthy as well. It's important to be limber in this economy. Fast paced global marketplace. This is inappropriate. You're inappropriate. Please don't talk to me. Oh, the bear's clapping for me. You're my favorite. Don't touch too. her. No, it's don't my favorite. Her. Don't touch her. She's very special. And... She hates you. Don't, she doesn't. She hates you. You're just being silly. She no. hates you. Please don't touch her again. She's a very special assistant bear. A very special assistant? Did Does you make that up yourself? Does mean anything to you? Surely you have something more productive to be doing right now. Absolutely not. <sighs> so how long do you think you stay here? In my desk. This is our desk now, so I expect you to respect mm, Survey my... says no, my desk. I expect you to respect my possessions while they are on our desk. You Listen. will not touch any of them. If you ever touch the very best assistant again, I will have to file a complaint against you. Do you understand that? Listen here, Eliza Doolittle. 
next time your bear is on my side of the desk, I'm gonna kill you. Don't listen to him. We'll be fine. Oh, hey. Hey. We were just going over a couple famous national publications to find some reviews for If It Floats. Ah, here's one. What you got? Norbert Ryhofer of the Wall Street Journal says, If It Floats makes security footage of an old woman being beaten and mugged look like Citizen Kane. That's tasteless. I'm like real sad right now. What's that guy's name again? Norbert Ryhofer. It's a stupid name. Kind of German. Yeah. Anyway, I was reading the Burst magazine. what they have to say? Okay, Paul Ruffins here had a review of our show. He says, I'd let Don Imus coach my girls' basketball team before I watch If It Floats again. Some bad taste. Is that what they talk about in the Burst magazine? These critics should not be the reason that a show can or cannot make it in the world. They don't, they don't know. Paul Ruffins, up in his ivory tower. You know what, Trevor? Why don't you give us a review? Okay. For the people, by the people. Here's my review of it that floats. Two thumbs up. Way up. And here's why. We have wonderful people. Like S Stephanie. Oh, oh, Stephanie. She's cute, funny, uh, works out, and adorable. That's like a trifecta. And uh, you gotta see her. Oh. Man, when Stephanie first walked up to my desk, I didn't know what to think. Let's watch. Todd, hey, I'm so excited to show my idea for the dairy campaign. Actually, Stephanie, okay, I. Yeah, I know you're working too, but I really wanted to show you my idea first, so do you mind? No, I guess not. Okay, great. So, I was thinking. Milk is good for your bones, right? Sure. Okay, so we could do a campaign that's like, a body without milk is like a body without bones. Or, or, this is what your body looks like without bones. So it would be like a gelatinous sack flesh. Actually, Stephanie, I've been meaning oh, to tell you. Oh, wait, 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 I got another idea. Okay, who is the largest consumer of milk? The state of Wisconsin. No. Babies. Babies know good milk when they taste it. Wow. Yeah, so we do a campaign, and it's all mothers trying to feed their babies, but, but we dub in voices for the babies, okay? We dub in voices for the babies, and they're all like, no, Mom, your juggy milk is nasty. I want some of that good old South Dakota Dairy Farmers Association milk. That's the good stuff. Stephanie, I don't why, think... Why would I want to drink milk from your droopy boobs anyway? I want 2% straight from the carton. Stephanie, that's not really... Oh, and another thing, Mom. What's with all this whole milk, okay? Are you trying to make me fat or something? God, why don't you do us both a favor, put your titties back in your sports bra, go and pick us up some 2% milk from the grocery store before I hurl all over the both of us. Stephanie? Yeah? Uh, go with the uh, gelatinous blob of flesh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. If dumbness was intelligence, Stephanie would be a genius. Okay, that was funny, right? <laughs> yeah. But we know what you're thinking. Where's the bottom line? How do I get rich from if it floats? One word. PR. Big bucks. Anderson and Anderson and Anderson will make the ads that run on their own show. It's a cash cow, people. Want to see what we can do? Roll it. This is your body. This is what your body looks like without any bones. And this is what your body goes through. But it's not over yet. This is your parents' bodies, your sister's body, your ex-boyfriend's body, your posture, your self-respect. Any questions? Well, like we were saying, big bucks. Let's take a look now at everyone's favorite lovable janitor. Dudley. Now Dudley can be the next big thing, people. I see Larry the Cable Guy. 
How about Dudley the janitor guy? Stuff writes itself. Uh, just kidding. It's reality. Dudley. Um, is, is that thing on? Oh, oh, it's not? Good, because I don't want anyone to know that I'm an illegal immigrant. So, thanks. Down here? When did those get there? I don't know, maybe like a week ago when they first started being there. But I, but I thought when I walked okay. in there Dudley, was just stop there because there's a problem. There. You didn't think. Dudley, you're incapable of thinking, and I am. You know what I think? What? I think I have a bachelor's degree in anthropology from the State University of New York in Buffalo. And I think you're a Canadian immigrant with questionable legal status. Okay. But who's more likely to be right here? You're right, me. You yes, are... it's me. You're right, finally. Um, I'll get him. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hold up. I got a better job for you. Look at this. Look at this, huh? What is that? This is our company letterhead. Beautiful, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, except for one thing. It only says Anderson and Anderson. But there's three Andersons. It's Anderson, Anderson... And Anderson. Did I say Anderson and Anderson and Anderson, or did I say Anderson and Anderson? I don't remember. Yeah, well, I do, Dudley. I said Anderson and Anderson because we're just missing one Anderson. What I need to do is add an Anderson to each of these pieces of paper. But then there'd be four Andersons. No, Dudley! We need three Andersons! There'd be three Andersons! There are three Andersons! There are, Dudley, but not on these papers! What papers? These down here, look! Look down here! Down, eyes down here! Oh. Anderson and Anderson. We need another Anderson on each of these, and I need you to do that. You're my man. But I have so much work to do. Oh, I can't poor do... Dudley! Have... You poor thing, Dudley. Do you think we have a dollar seventy-five an hour to just throw around? No. Do you think this company can afford that? Just to just to toss around some party animal who just wants to empty the garbage every few minutes? Good. Here, I'm emptying the garbage. Here's a dollar seventy-five, you Good. bum. Good. Here, I'm like washing the windows. Oh, $1.75 for this hours of work. This is your job, Dudley. I need you to do your job right now and put Ann Anderson on each of these pieces of paper. Well, well can I at least use your Ann Anderson stamp? <laughs> What's Ann Anderson stamp? The one you used the last time you only had two Andersons. On the Dudley, you know what? No. I think you should just get to work. I'll get the paper clips later. Oops! It's on a chain, Dudley! Gotcha! That was easy. Dudley. Dudley's from Alaska, so contrary to his belief, he is not an illegal immigrant. We would tell him. We would, but it is so much more lucrative to pay him an immigrant's wage. Plus, he's just a regular dum-dum. Big, giant dum-dum. Dudley. So you've seen a lot of great footage. Why haven't you called us yet? <laughs> oh, wait. Just kidding. There's more. Here's the good stuff. I enjoy the sounds of nature. Look, it's very relaxing to me. It oh, reminds me of a trip I took to the Amazon <laughs> once. Bear. Bears are my favorite animal, actually. Hey, oh, it's a British lion. Oh. There's no such thing oh, as a British lion. Oh. Help, I'm trapped back here. 
You're not trapped, Lou. Stop being ridiculous. The papers fell on me. I'm squished. We are no longer in nursery school. I would appreciate it if you could behave your age. Please, help me. Help. It's dark in here and I'm lonely. I need you, Matilda. I can't hear you anymore, Lou. I'm so sorry. I can't hear you anymore, Lou. My leg's shattered. I, I can see the bone peeking through my skin. And, um, you hear that? My esophagus rattling. It's all crooked. So I guess what I'm saying is, can we bury the hatchet long enough for you to unbury me? Is that okay? Please, baby. Don't ever call me baby again. April Fools. If he never touches you, I want you to tell him straight away. Do you understand? Now I know what you're thinking. What's so real about this reality show? These people are acting crazy! Well, here's a series of clips that were too funny, too hot, and too crazy for TV. So, here are a few clips of what this show would be like if actors played us. Right. These are bloopers, but not... But it's like... It's not real. It's the people in real life pretending like they were actors who messed up and it was funny. It works on like five levels. So here's bloopers little from our reality show. Yeah, yeah. And I think you are a legal immigrant with questionable legal status. So who's more likely to Okay, so be quiet. Who's more likely to be? <laughs> <laughs> the recycling bin right now. Boom. Are you scared yet? Scared of you. I don't know what this thing does, um, but I think the sound is soothing after a day. Everyone, I need you to be on your top game to make sure we don't lose this account. We can't afford it after Ted's, alright? Sounds like a big pickle. <laughs> right. You know what, Todd? What? I think these guys deserve a little something special. Like what? Not the sneak peek. <laughs> 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 I've actually got several. I don't, you know, I don't need any more angels. <laughs> yeah. There, there he is. I'm gonna get you. You better watch yourself, big out. I'm the boss of this office. Okay. <laughs> I really don't think it's a good idea for us. <laughs> you are looking so long to see you out of the corner of my eye. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really yeah. good at this. I'm going to be like, sounds like serious business. <laughs> Yes, of course. Public relations, you say? Well, I've made relations in public before, and let me tell you, it's nothing like you've made it sound. Really? I'm sorry. Well, I hope she gets better. Ugh.
<laughs> YouTube.com. <laughs> YouTube.com. W.YouTube.com. YouTube.com. 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 Oh, this one looks good. www.googlemaps.com. Loaded that buffer. Desk! Off of my desk. Yo, time out. You yeah. are fired. Let's go. Let's go. I wasn't here. <laughs> I don't think anyone I, I will seem to notice. remember one of the directors saying, yeah, spike it. Spike it. Spike it. Spike it. Hi. I'm Todd McDonald. <laughs> I'm Trevor Fairbanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Todd McDonald. <laughs> oh, okay. I just realized we're doing the wrong man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be my key. We're done. We're done. We're done. Here. That would be my phone. You have a phone in your office, Doc. What's this phone for? <laughs> Alright, stop there. You know what, Doug? You don't think. You're not this big a type of person. I just. You're not a big guy. But you know what I am, and you know what I think? I think I have a. You know what I think I have? A, I think I have. You know what I think I think I have a bachelor's degree in anthropology from the State University of New York. Wolf Wolf. <laughs> Time. What? I think these guys deserve a little something special. You mean the sneak peek of episode two? A little under the table sneak peek. Nice. Todd and Vicky get into some trouble when they book two opposing clients. Lou helps Dudley with the slinky. Lou and Matilda bring it up a notch. <laughs> Trevor plays a bunch of funny pranks. Bernie plays with another slinky. And everyone finds themselves in a real pickle. How are they gonna get out of this mess? <laughs> I bet you're wondering what's going to happen in that episode. I am. So, we'll tell you. After you buy 60, 60 episodes of If It Flirts. Of if it flirts. That's, what, that's all we're asking. And you can know what happens. In and you better call us before the other people call us. This number, people. Right here. Call it. My phone's on. Please. ABC, you don't want Fox to beat you. NBC, you know CBS has got a better lineup than you. Lifetime, Oxygen, we know you guys are rivals. PAX, all you play is church footage. Dudley, are you serious right no, now? No! Dudley! I have an... Oh, you're gonna give me an ulcer. Put it out. Dudley! We weren't authorized to use the screen. Dudley! No, not... Dudley, my arm's caught. Do you really want my arm to be stuck in here? Do you, do you want... I'm gonna... You're, you, you're gonna hurt someone. Do you really want to hurt someone? Dudley. Dudley! Dudley. Dudley! Dudley, please! Okay, there, big shot. Order now. <laughs>